original Donna Fall Dan. We is the 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 original. We is the original Donna Fall Dan. We is the original Donna Fall Dan.
were formed in the gravitational collapse of a great cloud of swirling gas and dust. 
in that collapse, the gravitational energy of this gas and dust falling inward heated the planets as they formed. Four and one half billion years ago, the planets were formed in the gravitational collapse of a great cloud of swirling gas and dust. Four and one half billion years ago, the planets were formed in the gravitational collapse of a great cloud of swirling gas and dust. Four and one half billion years ago, the planets were formed in the gravitational collapse of a great cloud of swirling gas and dust. In that collapse, the gravitational energy of this gas and dust falling inward heated the planets as they formed. Jupiter and Saturn have not yet cooled off.
check it out. Big shout outs going to my main man, Willie Tell. Richie Rich in the house. Ali and Asaf, the Techno Giraffe. And all the rest of the crew here at Triple R. This is 2120 on the mic jamming. Raylene in the house, keeping the phone lines busy, pumping it up. Don't forget to hang out at Wiz tonight. It's going to be totally mental. My boy Ali in the house. Big shout out going to my man Dima bring, bringing me down here tonight. <laughs> Hanging out with us. <laughs> and my main girl Kate in the house. Brand new one from Robert Armani pumping it up.
Big shout out going out to DJ Mike in the house. Thanks for calling.
Open up and say, ah, triple ah. Is he wild or what? Yeah, 2120, check him out at Wiz tonight. Claude Young Jr. Okay, Claude, how you doing? Oh man, I feel great. <laughs> oh, that was wild. That was swell. Did we have a good time or what? God, guys, you should have been in here. This man, he's got the records on for about two seconds. He had them throwing around in all directions. Had a, had a couple technical difficulties, I want to apologise for that. But <laughs> Don't apologise. Look, I'll tell you what we're going to do out there, listeners. If you'd like to speak to 2120, Claude Young Jr., whoever you may like to call him or whatever you may know him as, give us a call here, 419-2066. Yes, 419-2066, we'll put you on air. So, you know, no swearing, please. And make sure your question or whatever you want to ask him is prepared. Just give us a call, 419-2066, and you can speak to 2120. So come on, give us a call. I'm sure you've all got lots of questions to ask him. After all, he does know a lot about Plus 8, Hard Wax, 7 City Records. 430 West. Yeah, 430 West. Okay, come man. on, give us a call, 419-2066. Thanks again. I want to say thank you to you, Kate, for having me on the show. Not a problem. Any time. Pleasure, pleasure was all mine. Uh, pleasure being here in Australia. I'd like to thank Ollie for bringing me out here for Amnesia. And I'm looking forward to Hardware 2. Yeah, that's going to sure. go off, Hardware 2. And tonight also, Dan Oh, Wiz. Wiz? Yeah. Hey. Don't forget that number, hey. 419-2066. We're waiting for your call, 419-2066. Yes, come on, give us a ring and you can speak to Claude Young Jr. from Detroit 2120. Come on, we got a few phone calls while he was on saying who was it, who was wicked and everything, so why not give us another ring and have a chat to him. Okay, you there. Who are we talking to? It's Chris here. Who's this is Kate? Yeah, this is Kate here. How you doing? Good. Hey, Who's this? Caught around, mate. That was unbelievable. Oh, thanks, Chris. How you doing? Chris, how's it going? That's unbelievable. That's unbelievable, mate. Claude is the best. Woo! Oh, thanks, man. Hey, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Glen Waverley, mate. Hey, man, thanks a lot for calling. I really appreciate it. I hope you like it. Hopefully you can come out to Wiz tonight, and don't forget to check out Hardware hey, 2. Dude, mate, that was insane. Oh, thanks, mate. All right, mate, look, I'll catch you later. I'll catch you okay, later. cool. You, right? Thanks for calling, all right, buddy? Thanks, thanks Chris. Bye. Bye. Come on, give us a call if you want to be on air talking to 2120. Come on, give us a ring. Hey, who's this? It's uh, David from Eltham. Hey, David, how's it going, man? Oh, not bad, yourself. Cool, man, you got a question? Yeah, I just want to know where you got your experience from as a DJ. Um, I started DJing in a small club in Detroit. Yeah. And um, uh, got to meet a few people, met Underground Resistance, and I met um, Octave One, and they gave me a couple records. I started playing around, um, and I've been doing it for about two and a half years, not really long. Yeah, so your mixing ability was just through um, trial and error. Yeah, pretty much. That's the best. I think that's the best way to do it, unless you get a really good teacher. And sometimes teachers don't work. It's pretty much trial and error. Get, get some records, get some 1200s, get a mixer. Sit down, and if you really love it, you can do it. There's nothing you can't do. Yeah, great. All right, thanks a lot. Hey, thanks a lot for calling, mate. Okay, bye. bye. Okay, thank you. Okay, who are we talking to? 
Yeah, this is me. This is Daco. Who's to who's talking? Sorry. Yeah, cause am I on there? Hey, how's it going? How are you, man? I saw you at um, Amnesia the other night. Oh, cool. Fantastic. I actually met you, too. Oh, cool, man. Wicked. It was a pleasure meeting you. Yeah, well, I look forward to to uh, seeing you jam at... Um, Hardware? Hardware. Oh, man, I'll be glad to see you come cool. out. You're going off to Wiz tonight? Yeah, I'm going off later. Oh, man, I'll see <laughs> you there. Look out for Art Juco, everybody. Okay, Freshest cool. Freshest art in the world. <laughs> okay. Thanks for calling. Keep those phone calls coming through. Okay, who are we talking to? Dino. Hey. Dino, how you doing, man? Good, good. How are you, Claudio? Oh, it's my mate. What's going <laughs> on, man? Oh, not much, man. Hey, you chilling out there? Yeah, chilling. Hey, Claude, man, I've got a big favor to ask. Yeah, man. Can I have your records, man? Oh, come on. <laughs> i tell you what, I'll send you some stuff when I get back home. Promise? I promise, man. I wouldn't let you down. <laughs> I'll hold you to it. All right, man. Cool. See you, man. All right, mate. Take care. Kicking ass. Thank All right. you. Bye. Okay, who are we talking to now? Mike. Mike, what's up, man? How, are you, How you doing? Saw it at Amnesia, man. You went off. Oh, thanks, man. Hopefully, I can Full do the on. same in hardware. Man, um, have you got a regular spot in a club in America? Uh, actually, no. I work on records, and um, yeah. I do guest spots in clubs in the U.S. and Canada, but I don't have a regular spot in the clubs. So I'd rather fly out here. I love it better <laughs> in Australia than in America. How long are you? How do you fall? Uh, I'm here to the 30th. Really? Yeah. Oh, and really, so what, you making appearances, what, every week? Um, in a couple Club. places. Um, hopefully whiz every week until I leave. Oh, um, uh, full on. Uh, some places in Adelaide and in, um, Sydney. So, everything should be going cool. And then I should be coming back in, uh, September, October. Unreal. And what, you're making records yourself at the moment? Right. Oh, unreal. You cool. would have heard his track before, did you? Yeah, that was sick. Wasn't it the wild? Good stuff. Did you, um... Do you work with Underground Resistance at all? Uh, yeah, Jeff and Mike are really good friends of mine. I also am uh, half a missing channel with The Vision. Right, have you done anything with Speedy J? Uh, no, not yet, but actually Speedy's going to be in Detroit. I'll probably miss him. He's going Man, to the seminar, but um, hopefully one day. That Speedy J stuff he did at Amnesia was full on. Oh man, Speedy J. <laughs> <That's weird. laughs> yeah, That's the best. Speedy's a great guy. Yeah, we're to the Speedy J family. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Everyone, weird. Hey, thanks a lot for calling, <laughs> cool, mate. All no right? worries, dude. Take care. See you later. Bye. Okay, don't forget that number, 419 if you want to speak to Claude. Hello, who we got on air now? Hello, Claude. Hey, how's it going? Who's this? Um, this is um, Nigel. Nigel from Richmond. Hey, how's it going, Nigel? Not too bad, mate. Everything doing all right in Richmond? Oh, good, yeah, pretty cool. Cool, cool. Yeah, pretty good, yeah. Um, well, I saw a, um, a, a movie called Cyberpunk tonight. I'm just wondering um, if you'd actually seen that movie. Oh, not yet, but you know what? I read about that in the paper today. Yeah? Yeah, so I think I might go check it out. Oh, mate, you should, you should go and have a look. Is it really good? Oh, you know, I was a little bit disappointed, but um, it's sort of relevant, <laughs> relevant to the scene, I reckon. Is the music okay? Oh, I was a bit, little bit disappointed, but um, it was sort of on, on the right track, you know, getting there. Oh, cool. Hey, well, thanks for the advice. No worries, mate. Hey, hopefully I'll see you around. Yeah, take it easy. All right, take care. See okay, thanks for your call. See ya. Triple R, live on air. Who we got on the phone now? Yeah, hello. Hey, yes. who's this? Uh, Peter. Hey, how's it going, Peter? Uh, um... Do you know Richie Rich? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, can you tell him to fuck off? I don't know. <laughs> okay, who we got on air? Uh, Rick. Rich. Hey, how's it going? Good, mate. Cool. Uh, we just come in from Tassie doing the Hot Chisel show, and uh, we've been down the sand belt. And do you know anyone down the sand belt? Uh, no, I don't, actually. Uh, who's this speaking? 2120. Yeah, right, right. Mm -hmm. um, do you like um, the Eric Burton sort of sort of stuff and stuff like that, or do you into Jimi Hendrix and stuff like that, or you don't want to talk about that tonight, or? Well, actually, when because, I... Because, you know, they've got the baby animals, and then you got Eric Burton and the real animals, and I've met Eric Burton, he's a friend of mine, you know? Oh, cool. <laughs> cool, I'm Rick. cool. Oh, when I'm not playing techno, yeah, I do. Do you want to hold the line, or are you going to put me on, or what? Oh. Hey, you're on air, mate. You're, you're on on live now? on air already. Oh, right. Oh, well, you can record that and play it back later. Okay. <laughs> thanks <laughs> for calling. Okay, okay, thanks it's for calling.
Okay, who we got on here now? Triple R. Hello. 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 Who, who yeah. are we talking to? This is the show fantastic. You've got to play a Fortuna. Okay. Uh, Oh, Fortuna? Oh, yeah. Fortuna? Not a problem. You got anything you want to ask 2120 from Detroit at all? No, the, the show's fantastic. Oh, thanks Keep a lot. Keep it going. Keep it going. Cool. Thank okay. you very much. Catch you later. Okay. Okay, who we got now? Hello. Hello, who we got? It's Frank here. Hey, Frank, how's it going? Good, man. Listen, I'm, um, I used to do a lot of nightclub DJing in the mid-80s, you know? Mm-hmm. And you've gone from uh, being a DJ, well, you still are a very good DJ at that. Oh, thanks, man. Um, to uh, the production side of things. How hard is it? You know what? It's not very difficult. What you do is um, you find some equipment, invest, um, learn your equipment. The best thing to do is learn your equipment. Yeah. Really good. Um, I mean, you'll be broke for a while because I was broke for a long time trying to buy equipment, but you just got to hang in there. Buy you some equipment, work on some music, take it around to some producers and some labels. Somebody will pick you up. Yeah, well, I'm used to being broke, you know. I mean, to buy all the records <laughs> and all that to um, start off was pretty bad, you know. Oh, yeah, but I understand, man. I was completely broke the first year I started DJing because I had to buy everything. Yeah, tell me about it. I'm pushing a cab at the moment. Oh, man. Well, keep on working, <laughs> and, man. And I, I've, got, I've got the show on in the cab. I'm ringing from the taxi now. I've got a mobile phone, so, you know. <laughs> oh, cool. Well, thanks so, for listening in. I mean, people spin Oh, out. thank you very much. Okay, here we go. Who are we talking to? Live on air, Triple R. Yeah, hi mate. Listen, um, I'm just really curious. You, you guys come over here, and apparently your accent gets you gets you jobs. Um, I know the same applies in your country as well. But um, do you guys pay tax on what you earn here, or? Well, yeah, yeah, we do because you have to have a work permit to come over here and work and everything. Really? So the same situation applies. I mean, I know that when 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 people go to your country, that that there's awesome problems getting green cards oh man it's incredible <laughs> yeah well i understand that here it's it's it is quite easy for illegal immigrants to to get jobs it's probably even easier for legal immigrants to get jobs but i understand it's quite difficult in your country and i'm just saying that your your presence in australia is is very much wanted. to the local industry by what you do simply because you have an american accent well, how do you feel about that well, i don't think that's the case at all I think that might be just your comment, your statement. How about that? Yeah, that, well, that's fine. I'm just asking whether yeah. other people have a thought about it, and I'm inquiring about people that come to our country and work, and I'm wondering if they think about what they're doing while they're here. I'm sure he's thinking about it very hard. Didn't you hear him before? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty okay, much. Okay, live on air, Triple R, who are we talking to? Hello, who are we talking to? Live on air, Triple R. Hi, speaking to Scott. Hey, how's it going, Scott? Scott? How you doing? Good. I reckon you're age 2120. I was just totally hypnotised with what you're playing. It's oh, hot. Thanks a lot, man. I was um, I've been over to San Diego and I've been some to some warehouse parties over there and it was just hot. It was really good. Really? What yeah. what, do you, what do you think that? Uh, how do you think they held up compared to the ones over here? Pretty cool. I've, I went to um Insomnia and um American Express went to one there, but it was busted. Um, this one's like that. When I was over there, I was over there for three weeks. Oh, cool. Yeah, really cool, yeah. I really like the ones over here better. Really? Yeah, yeah cool. Oh, I love it. Thank dude. you. Um, could you play There Is No Law by Messiah for me? Oh, we'll, we'll try. try to do that. We'll try. We've got up until three o'clock, so there you go. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Okay, bye. bye. Okay, live on air. Triple R. Hello? Hello. Um... Can I talk to um, the American DJ about um, Banana Split? You certainly can. He's right here. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, the Banana Splits, they're unreal. Just tell us what you can about Banana Splits, please, because <laughs> I've been hanging to find out something about these people, and, and, and if you could play this song as well, but for the moment, please tell me what you, know, you can tell me about Banana Splits. I don't know very much about it. It's the first I've heard of it. <laughs> Look, I'll play the track for you later on, okay? Thanks for calling. Live on air, Triple R. Who are you talking to? How are you? It's Jason. Hey, Jason, what's up? Good, man. How's it going? Good. Um, Kay, I was just going to refer back to last week when you spoke to Colin about um, yes. the underground scene there. How's it going over there at the moment? He said it's taken off. He'd just finished going to a warehouse party in a big, large aeroplane, yeah, so he I told me. Did you hear that? Yeah. yeah. With okay. Richie Horton. Uh, what's... What's um, your feelings on the situation over there at the moment, Claude? Uh, I, th I think it's pretty cool that um, they're trying to lock onto things, but um, I, I 
preferably much better like the scene over here. I think that over there it's a bit commercialized, and here you can play really raw and hard, and everybody yeah, gets into it. Yeah, it's a lot more it. trancing on the ground here at the moment. Yeah, that, that's have cool, you, though, because things change, you know? Yeah, have you been over to London at all? Uh, not yet, but I'm looking forward to going over there. Yeah, it might give you a bit more of um, a, a basic sort of thing of what's happening over there. Yeah, I, I, I've talked to people who just got back from there, and they said it's really um, trancy type, so... Yeah. Hey, well, thanks a lot for calling, all right? No worries, man. Take care. Okay, we're taking one more call. You're on live on air at Triple R. Who are we talking to? Yeah, you got Jimbo. Jimbo. Hi, Jimbo. How you doing? Hey, uh, I was asked, uh, who told you how to go sick on the wheels like that? <laughs> it was me. <laughs> hey? It was me. Yeah. Cool. Hey. Okay, one more call in. Here we go. Live on air, Triple R. Who are we talking to? Oh, hi, it's Larissa here. Hi, Larissa. Yeah, um, well, I just wondered what you thought of the uh, apparent lack of political consciousness among techno people. Like, I think there's a lot of untapped power that you could have. Oh, I think you're absolutely with, right. I think, sort of if, thing. I think if we all get together and kind of push towards things, we can make things happen, and a lot of people yeah. don't realise that. Oh, well, it's such a subversive type of music, I think. There's, oh, definitely. There's a lot of potential there if oh. people just got together and, you know... Well, hopefully in the next, you know, couple of months or maybe a couple of years, things will get together. Yeah, I'd cool. like to see maybe some feminist techno. Oh, I'd love to see that. I'd love to <laughs> so see... would I. Good on you. <laughs> I'd love to see some girl DJs, too. Yeah, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Oh, that'd be great. Eventually. Yeah. Hey, we've got a few. Oh, a couple. Yeah. Yeah, well, Kate's pretty good, isn't she? Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's also Liz Miller, too, don't forget. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do, do you listen to her show in the morning? Um, I've never actually been awake. Try and wake up. Set your alarm. It's a great show. Yeah, I She will. does a good job. <laughs> okay, then. Okay, then. <laughs> Thanks for calling. I will take one more. Here we go. Live on air, Triple R. Who are we talking to? Hi, you're talking to Steve. Steve, how's it going? Good, how you doing? Oh, not bad. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from downtown Dandenong. Cool, what's yeah. going on? Um, I was just wanting to ask you if you've heard live uh, Dave Morales or Frankie Knuckles. Yes, actually I heard Dave Morales in Red Zone at the New Music Seminar last year. Oh, how was it? Uh, he was pretty good. Yeah? He was really good. Uh, I, I uh, was at a panel that Frankie Knuckles was at. Right. He's a really nice guy. Yeah. Uh, Dave Morales, I did hear DJ. He was excellent DJ. Really good music. And I he's... heard um, Frankie recently in London. I mm -hmm. just got back. I heard him at the Ministry of Sound. Really? What do you think of him? He was fantastic. Frankie is spectacular. Yeah. Um, I've only heard tapes, but I'm sure you have a better um, idea of what he sounds like because you were there. Oh, he was, he was just wicked. Um, recently, when I was over there, um, I saw Dave as well. He played the same club. Oh, what do you think? He was just fantastic, the both of them, and um, the standard of mixing is just incredible. The timing's perfect. Oh, those guys are really, um, yeah, they're really um, precision freaks, I think. A lot of the jams you do over in the States, are they non-alcoholic, or are they generally serving alcohol in the clubs you're... Pretty much non-alcoholic. Yeah. As a matter of fact, um, the that big raves... That seems to be everywhere, actually, Yeah, the big raves it? are non-alcoholic. Yeah. People are really yeah. into the music and stuff. Yeah, yeah, which is good to see, actually. Hey, thanks for calling. Okay, okay thank care. you. Bye -bye. One more... Lucky last. Okay, who are we talking to? Live on air? Yeah, you got the Night Rider. Hey, Hello. Night Rider. How's it going, buddy? <laughs> this is my sort of person, a Night Rider. Hey, I was going to ask, what do you think about the techno scene in Australia? I love it. I think it's the greatest I've ever seen. Yeah? Yeah, I think it's really spectacular. The people are great. The music is great. A wonderful DJ. Some of the best DJs I've ever seen are right here. Do you think it'll move on or stay the way it is? Um, I think it'll move. Everything changes. And, no, um, I think it'll move for sure. And uh, it'll move forward. It'll it'll never move back, especially in a place like this. It'll never move backwards. It'll always move forwards and things will always get better. Yeah, can you do us a face? Yeah. Uh, can you go mixing on a bit of dance music? I'll try. M uh, maybe when I come back. Yeah. 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 All right. Next time he's on the show, how's that? That's all right. All right. <laughs> thanks for calling. Okay. Bye. Thanks for calling. No and worries. thanks for all those other phone calls also. Uh, 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 uh.